Hey gang. I'm gonna do a puppy update. Puppy update. It's this is um what day is this? February 20th. It's February 20th. And Odin is getting really, 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 really big. Yeah. And really, really, really angry because he wants to sleep. <laughs> Stop. That's what he does when he wants to sleep. Okay. I'll leave you alone. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Look at how huge he's getting. I'm going to get out of the way for a minute. Look at him. He's huge. He's huge. He's, uh, uh, he's over 60 pounds now. And uh, Angus is 12 years old and he's uh 67 pounds and odin is probably right around 60 pounds maybe 58 60 pounds right now i think and he's only six months old so we are gonna have us one big old dog here when we're done in another another year and a half it's gonna be huge How's everybody holding up with COVID? With maybe you're uh, maybe you're still out of work. It's crazy. I don't know what is really happening. You know, I wish I knew what was really happening. Wouldn't it be nice to have all that information? You see so many posts on, on the internet from people who who believe that they have it all. They got it all figured out. And I wish I had that kind of brain power to have it all figured out. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. What's wrong? Get up here. Come up here. Come on. Yeah, it's okay. Come on. Come on. The Angus is afraid of Odin now. Angus doesn't want to make Odin mad. Oh, it's okay. He, um, they got in a fight about a month ago, three weeks ago, and uh, Odin bit him in the ear. And now the tables have turned and Odin's doing the biting. And uh, I think Angus is gonna, I think the hierarchy is changing here with my dogs. And uh, now we have muzzles. We have muzzles. On, I have a muzzle for Odin when they're out messing around together so he doesn't keep trying to bite Angus and uh, start a fight. To him, he's just playing around, but he bites hard. Right? Little mutt ball. Yeah, okay, you, you chew on your harness. <laughs> you'll get, maybe you'll get out of it one day. The, um, back to the COVID. Uh, we, uh, my wife just got her second vaccination. She's a healthcare worker. She just got her second vaccination. But my daughter has uh, a couple of uh, issues that, uh, a couple of health issues that, could contribute to her death if she were to get COVID. And she uh, still hasn't uh, hasn't gotten a chance to get a to get a, a shot yet, to get her first one even. But we're hoping that she'll be able to do that at some point in the near future. And um, because she's got a, we got to go through with her wedding reception, her big party in September of this year. Um, the venue wouldn't let her out of the deal, so we got to go ahead and do it. And our, uh, our new boss, our new boss says he's going to have 300 million people vaccinated by July, so, or by the end of July, so we'll see how that goes. I think we got, we got over 30 million vaccinated now, but if you believe in vaccinations, honestly, I don't think I'm going to get a vaccination. I don't think that, uh, 
I don't know. I just don't. Uh, I don't do vaccinations. I don't get the flu, and I and I don't typically do vaccinations. But I don't know. Maybe I should start. I'm getting old. What's wrong? Come here. I was. Uh, I interviewed, I'm going to tell you about this friend of mine. I interviewed with her for her YouTube channel. She uh, asked me a few questions. She's, she's been a subscriber of mine for a while. Her name is Sydney Lovekiss. And she has a YouTube channel called Sydney Lovekiss. And you ought to look her up. And she's uh, another trans girl like me. Um, I think she's, <laughs> yeah, considerably younger than me, but, um, she is trying to make a go of it, uh, and keep her family together and keep her marriage together. And, uh, thank you, Angus, for shaking my camera. Anyway, it was a fun little video, a little interview we did, and, uh, You'll be able to, so you'll be able to see me on her channel in a few weeks whenever she gets it edited and posts it. Uh, but in the meantime, check her out. Uh, the uh, it's a, it's supposedly um, a bad idea for a YouTuber with more subscribers than another YouTuber to to go on their channel and, and do a video with them because the, the the, the, the YouTuber with more video, with more subscribers uh, is offering more exposure to the other YouTuber. Well, she doesn't have, Sydney, Sydney's just getting going. She doesn't have a lot of subscribers, but I don't care. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter to me. I, I thought about that. There's so many, there's so many YouTubers with hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And so they must be really popular. It must be really cool. Right, and the uh, but I'm not going to subscribe to them if they, if they don't touch a nerve with me or if they don't entertain me. If I can't understand, if I don't, if I can't relate to them, I'm not going to subscribe to them. It doesn't matter if they have 10 million subscribers. I don't care. I mean, the old, probably the most famous person that I follow at all is uh, Dwayne Johnson. I follow him on Instagram. He's fun. He posts a lot of fun stuff, and he's a really cool guy. And he's, he's uber successful. And uh, it's, you know, so I just get a kick out of the stuff that he does. And uh, um, other than that, I don't think I subscribe to anyone that has has more than five, ten or 20,000 subscribers, I don't think. But anyway, check her out, you know. She's got, she's got a few hundred subscribers, five, six hundred subscribers. Maybe she'll... Um, Maybe I can pick up some of those, some of those from the interview, and maybe you guys will go over and, and fall in love with Sydney Lovekiss, and you'll subscribe to her too, and you'll still be subscribed to me. It doesn't really matter to me. That, that's not what I'm about. Um, check her out. She's pretty cool, pretty smart. She's got a good head on her shoulders. Uh, she got some good, good ideas and some good help. Uh, you know, for for uh, people that are transitioning or cross-dressers or, um, you know, people that uh, people like me that aren't aren't probably going to transition fully. Um, just trying to just trying to make a make it work in their lives and keep their families together. You know, we uh, trans people like us, I think we need a, we need a bigger voice. We need we need. um uh we need somebody, we need someone that's older, uh, you know, middle-aged, older, old, upper middle-aged that grew up with the stigma um, and that is trying to not lose their marriage and uh, uh, to, to be a, a role model. And uh, I, that's what I'm trying to be. Um, but, um, you know, maybe there's somebody else out there that's, that can do a better job of it and, uh, get out there.
it's hard when you're balancing when you don't want to go completely 100% full on uh, transition transitional living and come out to the whole world it's it's tough to you know throw it all out there uh, you know if I ever if I ever reach that point where where I'm just gonna I, it doesn't I don't care it doesn't matter to me who who in the world knows that I'm trans and that this is this is the way I want the world to see me when I get to that point then I'm gonna start if I ever get to that point I'll I'll, I'll be throwing it out there I'll be taking more chances I'll be I'll be saying things more things uh, uh, more of my opinions to anger people <laughs> and uh, and right now I'm just just trying to uh, express my feelings and uh, let you guys know that um, if you are like me, that you're not the only one. And, uh, right? Right? You are such a handsome lad. You are such a handsome lad. A little hot, a little heavy on the eyeliner, but, you know, for a guy, got the bat wings going. Look at that. Look at those bat wings. I like it. I like it though. It's a good look. Yes. You have bat wings too, but you're brindle, so you can't see them. Yeah, can't see them. Yeah. You want a drink of water? Is that what you want? Well, Odin wants a drink of water. I let his I let his water bowl go dry. That's what he's been prancing around here and whining about. He wants a drink of water, and we're gonna go get him a drink of water. Guys, I'm sorry I haven't been on the on uh, out with a video lately uh, I will try to get more out uh, the um, I've been trying to script some videos but I haven't been able to completely get them scripted so I can be coherent like this co like this wonderful coherent rambling <laughs> video example that, that you're getting right now where I'm going from one thing to the other look at Okay, yeah, you big baby. See, he's he's a biter, but he doesn't bite. He doesn't want to hurt me. He's that's what he's saying. I don't want to hurt you, Rachel. I don't want to hurt you, mommy. But I will if I have to. I'm gonna pull your wig off. No. Okay. All right. Go back to sleep, you big lug. Go back to sleep. Yeah. Get up. Get out of here. Where are you going? You gonna go get some water too? Get out of here. Look at him. You tell him to, when you tell him to haul ass, he has to make three trips now. Hey guys, love and peace to all. All right. And let's uh, keep trying to get through this COVID thing. Hopefully the country will be opening up by the end of the year, huh? And we can uh, we can go back to uh, we'll never go back to the normal. You can't. I hate that. I hate that. It's becoming a cliche. The new normal. I, I think it'll feel. It'll feel um, strange to go out and celebrate with others and socialize with others and gather with others. For those of us who've been uh, trying not to spread the disease and who've been trying not to catch the disease. Uh, for the other folks that don't care, um, I guess they've just been, uh, life's just been going on great for them. But I kind of doubt that it's, I kind of doubt that as I say that. It, I don't think life is... Uh, our lives, our, our lives are all that great for any of us right now. Love and peace to all guys. Let's just try to accept one another for who they are.